Sometimes things can break. Sometimes it doesn't work for some reason. In this video, I'm going to exchange the controller board on the EC3D X1 3D printer. Coming up on Zachary's 3D prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest videos right in your YouTube alerts. And thanks for being here. A few weeks ago, I was dialing in the easy 3 d X1 3D printer for getting the perfect slice of settings. And I noticed that the Z height was off with 0.5 millimeters. For me, it does count. It, I want to have it as close as possible. And 0.5 millimeters is a little bit too much. So I wanted to update the firmware. It didn't turn out that well. So I had to reorder a brand new main board or controller board. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can change the controller board if something happens with your board. So before we are going to exchange the board, what do we need? Well, in this case, a Phillips screwdriver or a flathead screwdriver. And also the controller board. The controller board is the AT4000V2 controller board on Gearbest, Amazon, there you can find this board as well. Maybe also on AliExpress. I'll put the links of this board in the description of this video. Some are affiliate links to support this channel as well. The board is around 20 US dollars. So let's get into the disassembling and exchanging of this controller board. So we are going to move the printer itself on the side. We are going to flip it over. I lost one screw. So you unscrew it. So and we flip it over like this. The most simple thing to do is just taking the LCD screen out. It has a little notch here. So you always can put it the right way in. We take the new controller board. And as you can see, it's the same one. The power supply, the USB, the micro SD, and then all the other connections. We can label everything as you like to do. What you also can do is just taking one out and putting it in the right connector. I'm going to take the board out, so we unscrew it. The only screws for the main board are here. Just make sure that your SD card is out so that you don't have any problems with that. And now your board comes out. Now it should be fairly easy and simple to make the exchange between the one board and the other one. So first let's start with the hot end. Like this. Because all wires are black and I don't really know for sure if it is going to give some problems or not. So a little bit play here, a little bit bent so it's harder to get it in. So those two are in. Checking if it is right and I don't know why they didn't use any colored wire well, the wires are colored only one black mm. 
Some are very tight. Something like that. I hope you can see it all well. one so as I can see that wire came loose no problem and make sure that every connection is as tight as it can be there you go so all connectors the uh, fans the stepper motors the end stops the thermostat now we are going to take the back cover and put it right in there. Take the two screws, something like that. The other one. Yeah, that's tight. This one is going on the side. Put this connector back. That one goes in there. Screws back in. I only have three. I lost one somewhere. So. So as you can see, the main board or the controller board is installed. I hooked the power back on the main board. I removed the old filament and put a new roll of filament back onto the printer. I need to adjust the printer again because the old firmware that was installed on here is not the same as the one that I had on there. So I need to do that in a later stage. So to wrap up this video. Exchanging the controller board on the Easy 3D X1 3D printer isn't that difficult. You can use parts of this video as a reference. When you fry your board, when you have some problems with your main, main board or your controller board, you always have something to lean back on. Sometimes it can be very simple, sometimes it can be very difficult. In this case, there are only black wires and there's just one set of black and red wires. If you switch them, the printer is going to do some crazy things which you don't want. This video is supported by these Patreon supporters, Tony and Shannon. Thank you for your support. You can also join by supporting this channel. Check the link in the description of this video. If you're still watching this video, thank you. You are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. You can also check on the merch store. The link is in the description of this video. Please like this video, share this video with other people, and I will see you next time. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sakri 3D prints. Bye bye.